Well, hello again. Welcome to my channel. I'm Fraser from Metalworking in France. I have a little project on uh, this time round. Uh, I've got to make some rather large aluminium cones. Uh, I spoke about them in a video earlier on. Uh, now you can see me actually doing them. Uh, quite a lot of work involved, a bit of changing around on the machinery a little bit. Uh, most of the work will be done on the on the coaster lathe here behind me and some of it will be on the milling machine on here on the rotary table. Okay, so follow me on this on this next video and uh, see how this job progresses. So the first thing I need to do is to drill a hole in the centre of this billet. A 25mm diameter hole just so that I can mount uh, the whole thing onto the rotary table uh, fixing, uh, well, centering it on the the mandrel that I made earlier uh, to fit into the rotary table. Once it's on there, uh, I can then drill the six radial holes. Uh, I can mark off that quite well. Um, and then, as you can see, I'm afraid that the, I'm sorry about the the, the quality of the the video. Uh, I don't know what went wrong, but obviously everything went completely out of uh, out of focus. Uh, but you can still get the, a rough idea of what's going on. Now that it's mounted on the rotary table, uh, everything's all clocked in and nicely set up. I can then just run round with a centre drill just to give me the point, the uh, drilling points on the billet itself. So I'll just whiz these round. Obviously all these uh, videos, the majority of them, I've, I've speeded them up. Here you can see I'm drilling the holes, uh, the clearance holes for the 12 millimeter bolts. Uh, I've had to lift it off the rotary table to do this. Uh, I can use the center drill uh, to send, you know, to line up the drills. Um, the, the reason I've had to lift it off is because literally I don't have enough headroom underneath the the uh, the chuck on the on the milling machine to drill through. Uh, so I've had to lift it off and then just drill, drill through straight on the table. Well, now I have to remove this gap uh, in the, well, <laughs> remove the plate that fills the gap. I have to remove these three cap screws here and this and this one, these three. So, and then there are two more, one here and one here. They go in that way. So now that uh, these screws are all removed, I should be able to lift that out and we have a gap in the lathe bed now. So that, uh, that will make it a lot easier to turn large items. Here you can see I'm turning the outside diameter. Um, <laughs> it's a bit tricky because I've had to mount a boring bar upside down in the tool post and then run the lathe backwards basically because the the tool post wouldn't come far enough out to, to machine such an out, a, a large outside diameter. Here I'm machining across the face of the, uh, the billet. Uh, again, it's a bit tricky. I've had to turn the tool post at an angle so that I can get enough, uh, or bring the tool out far enough to reach the outside diameter. Uh, I'm just going across the face here just to clean it up. Uh, before I then start working on everything else. So here I'm just uh, beginning the boring procedure um, to just run uh, a hole through the middle of the of the of the billet uh, to then start boring out to the right size. Here I'm just boring out to the full core diameter uh, of the interior. Next step is to start boring out the cone shape. Uh, it's 25 degrees. So here I'm getting a little bit deeper into the cone now. Uh, I'm having to wind it all by hand. Uh, obviously there's a little bit of side play on the, on the uh, tool post itself, but it's going through okay. So here we are, just finishing off the, the tapered cone, in the internal cone. Uh, I, I've, I'm turning it fairly, fairly quickly on the lathe for the size of it and just winding out backwards. 
Here I'm turn I've turned the billet round uh, on the face plate so that uh, I can now machine the taper on the outside. Uh, it's not too bad, it's only about 10 degrees, so there's not an awful lot of machining involved in it. So uh, it's coming on quite nicely. Uh, I'll just keep going with this. Again, I've got to wind it by hand because I don't have a taper attachment. I have speeded it up a little bit uh, so that we don't spend too much time watching me winding the handle by hand. Uh, but it's, it's coming off quite nicely. It, it'll, it'll be okay in the end. And here we see the finish of the taper. Uh, I've gone down to a, basically to a step edge so that uh, there is a base for whatever it goes on to, whatever goes on to it uh, can just bottom out on, the, on that shoulder. So here we have the finished items. As you can see, uh, a cone cavity in the back, taper cone cavity, uh, 25 degrees. And in the on the other one, we have we have a taper uh, on the diameter, on the outside diameter of eight degrees. Uh, no specific reason for eight degrees. It's just that I wanted to leave a bit of a land here, so that uh, it could bottom out basically. And it's two eight five millimeter diameter on the outside at the point of the the taper. So there we have, nice little job. So that's all ready to go out. Well, there you go. That job worked out quite well in the end. Uh, it's quite a lot of work involved. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I've put all the machines back to back to normal again. Uh, apart from I've left the rotary table on the on the machine because I may have another little project to do on there later on. Okay, so thanks very much for watching the video. And I hope you enjoyed it. And if you haven't already done so, please subscribe to my site. Uh, and hopefully see you in the next video. In the meantime, goodbye.